Okay, we're going to start off in mountain pose, so nice strong leg brace. Heels together, lifted, legs together, strong braced legs, chest up. So you always want to have your calves touching. The work of the legs is really strong. You want to engage the legs. Shoulders up and down, up and <coughs> lifted. Arms up, directly up. Shoulders down. Don't have your chest poking up. Chin up, looking forward. Straighten the arms, shoulders down. And bring the arms down. Keep that nice position in the body. So you don't want the shoulders of the um, ribs poking, you want them lifted. Engage the legs again. And release. Okay. Feet hip width apart, we'll do a few hip circles. I don't know if anyone's read um, Papillon. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And he. To, in, in order to get fit for his break, he stands in the sea and braces his legs. Oh. And that's the workout that he, he does every day, so they don't notice that he's you know, preparing for the break. <laughs> Good book. It's a great yeah. book. Yeah. Alright, left foot back, swing our arms. Maybe I should have my program in front of me so I can do 
glute squat, so left foot on right knee and coming down. So focus on relaxing that foot, just go down as deep as you can, relaxing at the hip, let the knee drop open. seconds. And time. Alright, we're going to change legs. <coughs> so right foot on left knee. Let's get ready. range on one side. Just keep challenging it. Use your left good side. Just try to push it a little bit further every time. Relax the foot. Very well. Chest up, head up, you know where your feet are. Nearly there. And time. Well done. Okay, we're going to go around again. Not quite the same. So this time for a half raise, we're going to do single leg squat and raise. Let's go. Just a half squat. Standing foot, get the weight running through it like a column. Head up, chest up, let's go. Challenge the depth of that squat. Okay, so this time instead of our 
drive and extent, we're going to do the running motion, okay? So, much more of a cycle through there, okay? So we're still going to be thinking about our tall posture, looking forward. Relax the foot. Stand fully at the back, cycling around. Look at the back. Ten seconds. Oh, lovely. Okay, this time we are going to do a deep squat. And a jump. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We don't have a box to jump on, so let's draw on. Hips nice and low. Halfway. I'm glad we're not doing two rounds with this. Oh, it's actually, we might do it again. No, let's not do two rounds with this. Ten seconds. And time. Okay, and two, we're going to do squat and curl, nice deep squats, curl, and a good squeeze at the back. Let's go. Really squeeze the back. Let's get the glutes working. exercises here. Head up, chest up. And time. Adjust your weight. Settle your posture. And let's go the right leg. Relax the standing foot. Try not to grip the mat. Relax the toes. I can see some gripping toes. The more we can think about consciously relaxing the muscles, the better we'll be able to do it in our running. Alright, stance ups, open the arms wide, 
coming down to the left, tucking and jumping up. Ready? Let's go. Each time, open the arms wide. Open up the chest. one side. So not so much of a swing, you're lifting under control. Lifting and lowering under control. With a neutral, slightly flexed foot. Fifteen seconds. Control it. And come down. And we're going to do the other side. Stand tall. Relax the foot. Make sure planted foot is facing forwards. Let's go. When you keep hips level, you might find this might be a source of imbalance. You can go up higher on one side than the other. Lifting and lowering slowly, no swinging. Ten seconds. And time. Alright, going back to the beginning, we're going to do something slightly different. This time, 
instead of doing the high knee, we're going to do a curl, like so, and then out to 45. So straight back, and then out to 45. And you should feel that in the glutes. If you can't, just squeeze a little harder. Are we ready? Let's go. Keep your head up and our chest up. So release as you come down, so you're not in tension all the time. Similar to what we did in all fours this week. And time. So the knee isn't coming out to the side, going back to 45. Relax the feet. Squeezing out to the side. Be 
you look like you're just chilling out there at the bus stop. Waiting for the bus. Right, Bert. Left, Bert. I don't want to be tough in the bus. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so two coming at once. <laughs> okay, so we are going to do a quad stretch, a nice balletic quad stretch. So pick up your right foot. You're going to extend your left arm and really open up your chest. Push the foot into the hand, extending away. Open up that leg a little bit, push the foot into the hand. Can you come forward a bit? Pushing the foot into the hand, opening up that ankle at the knee, and time. Okay, we're going to change legs. So reach up with your right arm, pick up your left foot, relax the standing foot, reach, chest is up, reach forward with the right arm, and push the left foot away. Left foot into the hand, try to open that ankle angle. So you want your calf and the back of your leg, your hamstrings to be as far away from one another as possible. They're repelling each other, pushing the foot into the hand. See how far you can get that foot away from you. So you're not trying to pull the foot into the bottom. You're pushing the foot away from you. Foot away from the bottom. And time. Well done. That's quite hard. All right, let's grab our bands. Favorite thing. Bands around the feet. Like a birthday for groups today. Okay, bands around the feet, not ankles, and we're going to go for side steps. Nice and tall, chest up, neutral pelvis, so we don't want the bottom sticking out. Almost tucked under if you need to. Looking forward. Seconds, keeping the band under tension. Looking forward and time. Relax. And we're going to go again. All right, standing nice and tall. Eyes forward. Let's go. Lovely posture around the room. 
Looking forward. Relax the toes, no gripping. Change legs. Okay, let's go. It was like bending the standing leg, perhaps you to extend a bit further. No gripping. You can see some unrelaxed standing feet. Come on, relax those toes. Today with the with the eye line, Heather. Yes. I should have like a clown's nose or something. Oh, no, exactly.
halfway. Let's really try to get that leg up a little bit higher. I'm feeling it a little too limp. Ten. Come on. Higher, higher, higher. <laughs> and top. Oh, right. Okay. This time we're going to do high knees, two high knees, two side left. We start off with our right knee up. Let's go. If it's too intense, just have a pause and do it in batches of six or ten. Working the ankle in the squat, working the glute, or you open the knee. And time. Change legs. Let's get into position. Air ball. Let's go. Think about the squat. And then think about opening the knee. Okay, bands around the ankles. We're going to reach forward to the side, <coughs> back, and then at this point we're going to the other side. We're taking out a few points of the block. Standing foot facing forward and relax. Let's go. See if you can feel all of the ground through that standing foot.
we're going to be side-lying. Okay, side-lying leg lift. So make sure your hips are stacked. You're not open up like this. The legs are one on top of the other. We're just going to lift that top leg. Let's go. <coughs> Working on our hip abduction. Keeping your foot facing forward. If, it's, if your foot is facing the ceiling, your leg is opening out. It's not what we want. You want to make sure you're just lifting up. All right. Fold that bottom leg away. Flex the top foot. You know what's coming. I think we did this little sequence before. All right. Lift and lower. So you're going almost to the ground. Over halfway. Feel it? Nearly there. And just hug in. Bring the bottom knee forward. We're going to do clams. Let's go. So heels together and your knee lifts. Put your hand on your hip to make sure you're not rolling back and opening up, even if you haven't got a big angle. Ten seconds. All right, so now we want to bring that um, top leg forward and the bottom leg is flexed and lifting. And now extend both legs away, lift the top leg, bottom leg to join it, and lower. Top leg comes up, bottom leg joins, lower together. All right, not quite this. We are going to come into our, onto our bottoms into the V-sit position. Are we ready? So fingers facing forwards, you're going to crunch up and push away. Crunching up and pushing away so you're on your forearms. Crunch up, push away, extend those legs away. You can keep your hands on the floor if you like, Joe, if that's easier. So you just, that's it. Forearms to hands, that's it. It's a little bit more controlled. Just 10 seconds. Okay. And onto our backs for crunches. So we do slow crunches, coming up in two and lowering.
same as you come up. As you exhale, flatten off the muscles, your abs, and time. Okay, on to our tummies. We're going to extend our arms and legs away. So first of all, we're going to lift our legs off the ground, and now we're going to lift our arms off the ground, and we're going to hold. Can you get your legs a little bit higher, and your arms a little bit higher? And hold. Legs a little bit high, arms a little bit high, and hold. This is practice for your zip liner. <laughs> yeah. And Super loud. Have a rest briefly. And now, legs in the air, arms in the air, hold. Legs higher, arms higher, hold. Very nice, everybody. And come down. Alright, we're going to do hitchhikers, so it's like our breaststroke, thumbs out, coming round, plunging down, and lifting up. Let's go. Come on to our other side for our side lying exercises. Just adjust the mat a little bit. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. On to our sides. We're starting off with a leg lift. Let's go. So hips stacked. Facing forward, not to the ceiling. All right, relax. We're going to fold that bottom leg away, flex the top foot. Let's go. Lowering all the way down to just above the floor. Working that end of range that we can't get to when our other leg is there. Fifteen seconds. Bring both knees forward, keeping your hips stacked. Let's go for clans in three, two, one. Open out, even if it means you've got a smaller range. All right, now bring that top leg forward. And the lifting and lowering the bottom leg.
And now extending both legs away, lifting the top leg, bottom leg to join it, lower together. Top leg, bottom leg, lower together. Well done. Okay, coming on to our bottoms again. This time we're going to row. So, hands on the ribs. Let's go. Pushing away with our feet, pulling with our hands. Who needs the boat race? Let's go. Halfway. Very nice, everybody. Really controlled. Looking great. Crunching in, pushing away. Extending the legs fully. Nearly there. Or on your backs, so we're going to do bicycle crunch. So hands behind your head. Then one leg and then the other, knee to elbow. Let's go. Get a good twist in the body, knee to elbow. Extend the legs away. And now let's slow it right down. Slow it down. Extend those legs away. And time. Hug in very briefly before coming into a glute bridge. So we're going to do single leg glute bridge all the way up, extending your right leg away and lifting your right leg up to 90 and then back to 55. Keeping the hips high. And now to the ground, into 45. Push up to the standing leg. And now to 90 and pulse up. And roll the foot down, bottom down, release. Coming up into your glute bridge, right on from the top of your shoulders. Extend the left leg away. And to 90 and to 45. Pressing the mat into the back, into the back into the mat, and the mat into the back. And opening arms up to the side, legs to the left, and spinal twist, I've got out of space at all here. And coming centre, looking over to the right, legs to the left. Or the other way around. And now coming centre. Let's come into a sitting position. Sit 
cross-legged. Just relax the knees down for a moment. And now reaching forward. Relax and release. Center, left hand on right knee, right hand behind you. You want to be getting your shoulders almost perpendicular to your hips. Breathe into it. And coming back to center, let's come onto our knees, onto our heels. Relax your feet and sit on your heels if you can. Relax, relax, and push up to stand, and we're all done.